Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you my favourite waterfalls in southeast Queensland and how easy it is for you to get to them as well. So let's do it. Natural Bridge is situated in Springbrook National Park, which is about an hour and a half drive from Brisbane. Natural Bridge is a favourite of mine as it's a very unique and beautiful waterfall. Once you arrive, it's an easy one kilometre circuit that descends through the ancient Gondwana rainforest to the Natural Bridge rock arch. The walk to Natural Bridge only takes 10 minutes. On your way to the waterfall, there are plenty of photo opportunities along the way. There are a number of places to view the waterfall from. There are two at the top. And three down below where you'll find the best photo opportunities. Natural Bridge was formed by the force of the water pouring into a basalt cave. The best view is from inside the cave which is home to a large glowworm colony. Twin Falls is also located in Springbrook National Park, not far from Natural Bridge. It would have to be my favourite waterfall in southeast Queensland due to the picturesque setting of it. The walk down to the falls is almost as pretty as the waterfall itself. In some parts, it honestly feels like you're walking amongst the fairies. Once you reach the falls, you will get a lovely surprise as you come around the corner and see the size and power of them. Wow. If you are keen, you can swim in the rock pool beneath the falls, although the water is quite chilly. Twin Falls can be quite tricky to photograph as there is a lot of spray coming off it. Make sure you take a lens cloth or even a towel with you. You can even walk behind these falls for a different perspective. Elevena Falls is an hour and 45 minute drive from Brisbane, located in the Leamington National Park. Elevena is just one of quite a few stunning waterfalls in this national park. The walk down to Elevena Falls is roughly an hour from the car park at O'Reilly's. The walk takes you through dense rainforests with sometimes muddy tracks, so take a good pair of hiking shoes with you. Your feet may get wet crossing the river at Picnic Rock too.
once you reach Alabama Falls, you will need to scramble across the gigantic rocks to the other side to see the breathtaking views of these falls. If you are keen, you can scramble up the side bank to the top level and even go for a swim. Alaberna is perhaps one of the most photographed waterfalls in Queensland, and for good reason. continue down the Taluna Creek circuit, you come to another stunning waterfall that not many venture to or can pronounce the name of. I'm not even going to attempt it. A bit further along from there is the spectacular Shalan Falls. It looks best after a good downpouring of rain. Serenity Falls is just over an hour's drive from Brisbane, located in the Budrum Forest Park on the Sunshine Coast. What's so cool about Serenity Falls is that it sits in a tropical oasis hidden away in the middle of suburbia. The walk to Serenity Falls is about 15 minutes. Because this place is very popular, the best time to go is very early in the morning or late afternoon. If you want to see how popular it is, check out my other video about Serenity Falls, which I'll put a link to above. Springbrook Falls is another epic waterfall also located in Springbrook National Park, not far from Twin Falls. There are two lookouts at the top of the falls where you can view the spectacular 100 meter drop. You can also walk to the bottom which takes about 30 minutes and if you're game you can swim at the bottom too. And last but not least, Curtis Falls, which is about an hour's drive from Brisbane, located in Tambourine National Park. Curtis Falls is a quick and easy 15 minute walk to the viewing platform. That is the only place to view these falls as they are pretty strict about you leaving the path to protect the wildlife that lives there.
Because of its easy access, it is a very popular and busy waterfall, so try to get there early in the morning or late in the afternoon. It's a very pretty single cascade that flows into a rock pool. Mount Tambourine itself is a great day out with lots of cute cafes and craft shops to visit. So that's it, thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for next week's video. Bye.